Hello everyone, Movie Man Chatty here. Hello. With my great friend Derek. And here we are here. I. It is you, it is you. It is me. <laughs> we are here to review our final consistent movie review for my channel for the year of 2017. So sad. And I'm Chad. glad to have you here. We will talk about movies in our real lives, real in the lives. real world, real all the world. time. We will review movies without a camera for the rest of our lives, but right now we're going to review the, the latest film from Paul Thomas Anderson. Derek, what is it called? The Phantom Thread. It was awesome. <laughs> the end. The Bye, end. thanks for go. coming. I, th I thought you were going to say, The Phantom Menace Thread. <laughs> the, the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> this, this, is, this is probably one of the best horror films in that's not a, that's not like a horror film. Yeah, you know. Well, it's, it's classified right here as a drama and a romance. I would agree with that. Yeah, it's um, it's there's nothing creepy about it all. That was just a joke, but it was very haunting, and it was yeah. just very. Um, it, I have a lot of feelings about the film, but I want to hear about what you thought, Chad. What okay, so I had a lot of excitement for this movie, not because it's Daniel Day Lewis' final film, even though I think he is one of the finest actors ever. Indeed. And I think in five years' time, he'll probably return because he'll get bored with his life and want to do some more acting, whether it's in the theater or in the movie theater. Uh, yeah, because his I'm, wife is his wife is a director, so they yeah. can work together again. I was wondering about that. I was thinking about you know maybe he will kind of give up on these big like transformative starring roles. Um, like Daniel Plainview and Bill the Butcher, and then maybe just do some supporting roles yeah, or something. Or maybe someday he'll maybe shake it up and be like in a Fairly Brothers film or maybe a spoof movie or something. I would love to see Daniel Day Lewis and just like, <laughs> like a straight comedy. comedy. Yeah. I don't think we've ever seen him like in a straight he'd comedy be, that I can think of. He'd be brilliant at it. Maybe. maybe. But th this is a very different character uh, that he played, right? Yeah, he's, he's, well, he's, he's good at playing these kind of vile, misunderstood, very controlling. Complicated, complex characters. Yeah. He's good at that. He does as well. I mean, and and he's great playing great heroes like right. Abraham Lincoln. Which you know, watching that movie, I I don't even see Daniel Day Lewis, even though we don't have any video footage of yeah. Abraham Lincoln. Lin Lincoln's definitely one of his best performances. Well, you just you, you forget that it's him. That's why he's such a great actor. Yeah. But I do I, I did want to mention that I was mainly excited to see this movie because of the director alone. I think yeah. Paul Thomas Anderson. Uh, Every one of his films is interesting. Uh, even Inherent Vice, which is not, I'm not a big fan of, but it's still interesting, and I do want to see it again someday. But I've seen Magnolia, and I've seen most of his other films multiple times. Yeah. They're so rewatchable. They're so interesting from beginning to end. So I wanted to see this, not because it's nominated for six Academy Awards, not because Daniel Day-Lewis, of course, is nominated. I wanted to see it mainly because it is a Paul Thomas Anderson film, and I'll see anything he does. Uh, should we mention who else stars in the film? Yes, please. Okay, there are two strong actresses in the film. One is played by Vicky Creeps. That's Vicky her name, Creeps, Vicky Creeps. Yeah. She plays, is she a French actress? Uh, let me look it up. She plays Alma, uh, his, his, well, this his love, interest. love interest in right. the film. Uh, he, she, find, he finds her as a way Waitress in a uh, where, countryside. Where is, what is that? Where is that um, from? Uh, she's from Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Where's yeah. Luxembourg? Is not that educate Germany? me? Isn't that Germany? I'm, I I don't know. She, wow. Okay. Anyways, let's Google it. Yeah. Well, sorry, to, sorry for our, uh, no. Our it's bad fine. Geography. Uh, but these are new actresses. You can't blame yeah. us because we've never, I've never seen these actresses on screen before. And then and then Leslie Manville, who is, is nominated for the Academy nominated, Award, right? And for she this movie. and she plays uh, his sister. Uh, slash kind of business partner. That's his sister. I didn't yeah. really get that. Okay, so it's yeah. sla sister slash almost like kind of manager he, he, business partner. He, conf he confines with with her and wants her advice right. and wants her 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 love more than any other woman in this film. So I think that rounds out the three main cast members. Yeah, like it's that. it's really a three person movie. A very strong um, uh, female centered movie. I actually called my my fiance right after the movie ended, and I was like. This movie really makes me sympathize with how hard you ladies have it, because us men can just be such difficult dolts, you know. Uh, Dan uh, Daniel Day Lewis's character, what what what's the Reynolds is the Reynolds character. Woodcock. Reynolds Wood Woodcock is it Red Woodcock? Reynolds yeah. Woodcock. He's a dressmaker. Yeah. And nineteen um, fifties London. So particular. Would you almost say he's OCD about certain things, like certain and and you know if 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 you work in the film industry or any particular types of arts, uh, you might know people like this who are very just like, you know, certain noises or certain things or even, you know, athletics, like see, people have very strict routines and regiments and if you, you mess with it, like, you know, 
all hell will break loose. But um, wow, he's a he's an interesting guy in this movie. Yeah, I mean, he just uh, he's he's definitely a control freak, uh, but he's a quiet freak, I guess you could right. say. He doesn't really get mad. He does raise his voice a few times. Uh, there's some things that I, I, I mean, I don't know. Do you want to make this a spoiler review or a non-spoiler review? No, let's review? do non-spoilers. Okay. I, feel, I feel like there's so much depth to this film and there's so much beauty but also so much simplicity. When I had seen the trailers, so we'll spoil it's in the trailers, you know, it's it's the setup of this world and these characters and you're kind of like, what's the intrigue? What's the there there? What's the, you know, what's is there some type of nefarious thing going on? What's the drama? But it's really such a great character story and I feel like non um, kind of art movie or indie movie or Paul Thomas Anderson type movie fans might accuse this film of being slow or methodical and boring, mm -hmm. but I, I I was captivated. I sorry for the TMI. I had to use the restroom partway through the film, but I I couldn't go. I was like I don't want to miss. Like yeah. every shot is beautiful. The soundtrack's incredible. Like I was I was transported. Yeah, I I, I want to comment on the fact you know uh, you know this movie is uh, got a bunch of award nominations. And Daniel Day Lewis, of course, is getting an award nomination, and Leslie Manfeld for supporting actress. Uh, but sadly, Vicky Creeps, uh, such a weird name, but Vicky Creeps, if that's even how you say her name, uh, she is not nominated she for best actress. Out of the park she is, in this movie, she's a, she's incredible in this movie, and yeah. she 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 she's you know, she's well, she 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 does such an amazing job with this uh, this great actor that we've gotten used yeah, to. Two two things. Number one, her as a her as a, a, a human in real life, as a, as a woman, she has to go and and be a scene partner with arguably the best living actor in the world, or at least top five. Yeah. So a plus to her on that that she you know match him and elevate him at certain points, and then so that's on a real level. But then in the fictional level, his character is so impossible. Uh, so uh, indomitable, you know, like he's so particular. So for her to be this woman who comes in and is able to uh, possibly shake things up in his life or match him in, uh, you know, social and um, intellectual ways, uh, that's a, a double accomplishment, you know. And I do like the surprises. Or I don't. We're not going to spoil the review. The surprises, how they do kind of play this game with each right, other throughout right. the film. Um, but I just say it's a shame that uh, she is not nominated because she deserves it. And you take out one of those actresses, namely Meryl Streep, who is an overrated actress, and put her in instead. But anyways, <laughs> go ahead. The, to, to not rock too many boats and upset too many people, uh, Chad and I both agree that Meryl Streep is, is, is very talented in so many ways. But unfortunately, it seems like she can almost be in anything and she'll get awards nominations yeah, for yeah. it. And, you know, the post... Is a good film. We're going we both, into our Oscar we bo review we, now. <laughs> we both love uh, Steven Spielberg. Um, of course. But, you know, watching the post, uh, I don't feel uh, Chad or, nor I felt like that's a performance that should be nominated. Whereas feel, watching Phantom Thread, yeah. we are watching Vicky and we're like, wow. Like, she's like definitely with one of the top performances of the year. I was also shocked how funny the movie was. You know, it's, it's yeah. More Chad, of, Chad and I were laughing. Nobody several was words. laughing in the theater except yeah. for us, and there was probably maybe 20, 30 people in the theater watching this movie. Yeah, and we were the only ones laughing. Not out that there, we thought it was a comedy. We just no, thought, like so there, awkward there's, and there's weird. There's so much genius stuff with yeah. with with body language and with uh, regular language and just awkwardness that happens in the movie. And uh, a big part of it is like just unfiltered truth, right? Yeah. You know, if like you're gonna, you know. Tell your your date this doesn't happen in the movie. I'm just saying something like tell your date like your breath smells bad or like something like you would never do possibly in real yeah. life. But like there's so many cutting and interesting things uh, that happens, and there's also layers of power dynamics between Daniel Day Lewis, uh, his love interest, and his sister. Yeah. So uh, as a character driven film. Uh, it's near perfection in my eyes, cinema, cinema perfection. Uh, it, it's it's all around. There's just so many thing, interesting things about this film, not yeah. from the production design to the cinematography, which surprisingly Paul Thomas Anderson also shot the film. We looked it up because yeah. I don't think we saw it in the credits, yeah. and it says on IMDb uncredited, but uh, man, from the opening shot, Daniel Day-Lewis has 
a house that's a residence it's it's a seems like a multi-story house with this winding staircase and then uh, he has several uh employees and dressmakers and folks that work for for his production for his company for his brand of these dresses and from the opening shots when we're being introduced into this world and this staff and the staircase i was just sucked in i was like wow this is really well shot and it was Paul Thomas Anderson and, who shot it. Yeah, the attention to detail, you really uh, got a sense of this little this little world because most the majority of the movie is in this little like townhouse kind of thing. Yeah, so, um, I don't maybe I'm saying the wrong thing, but like this weird maybe three story apartment right house. Yeah, um, I do want to comment on the great music. I liked that the music kind of was continually through the film. Yeah, the, there was the definitely way. a theme. And there's callbacks, but then it seemed appropriate when they did. Yeah, and and you mentioned that the credits not giving anything away, but the credits, the music just is playing, and it feels like you're. I feel like the end of you were saying the end of an old movie. Right. The the this doesn't give anything away via the content of the film, but but um, the closing credits of the film, the way the speed and the text overlay and the way that they're displayed is that of a classic film. There's definitely homages to uh, old cinema, and you felt. Uh, th this is this is a movie of a different time, which is a great thing, and I feel like uh, it has the liberties of today to right. do what it wants to do. But yeah, it does feel like a movie from a different time, right? But certain language things, yeah, you yeah. wouldn't see in the 1950s film, yeah. but or or perhaps content type things. But like, I feel, I I hope I hope this movie finds uh, a lot of lovers of it because, and and maybe folks who enjoy old cinema will gravitate to it. Um, but I think it's a film that does require some interest and patience, not in a bad way. Um, but it's, uh, I don't know. It's, it just really stands apart for me. Um, the, the, the movies aren't alike at all. And so I'm sorry to, to call a parallel here, but when I saw Beguiled over summer, I felt like I had a connection with that film because I was seeing like robot and pirate and superhero movies. And I was like, Oh, I'm, a movie so I feel yeah. I feel a similar way about this film and that like it's just it's just cinema and and it feels so pure and beautiful I think yeah it's nothing nothing flashy there's no high special effects no or CGI CGI <laughs> it's just the actors getting a chance to perform and I really hope that Daniel Day Lewis this won't be his final performance even though that is what is reported because uh, he is one of our greatest actors, and I really hate to to lose him yeah. as an actor, uh, as a voice. You know, he's because he's still so young. You know, if if he was in his 80s or 90s, I would be I'd be more like, okay, it's you know, fine, I'm okay with you ending your career. Yeah. But even Paul Newman worked till he uh, ended. You know, he he worked on a few things before he ended some voice work at least. Right. And there's some actors that uh, who uh, Christopher Plummer still working. Oh yeah, he did an incredible you know, job. But of course, Daniel Day Lewis is saying you know because he really gets into his roles. Yeah. He really becomes the character. He really became this guy, Reynold Woodcock. Um, uh, but watching him, and I'm like watching him, like man, I, I really hope in the next few years he surprises us and comes yeah. back and makes another movie. I don't, I don't know what's in uh, Daniel Day Lewis's heart or in his personal life, but um, you know, I just, I feel like you know he's got more stories to tell. I would like, I would like him to, to, to do that, but you know. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll it's see. Just, it's okay. We still have some incredible performance of, from him that uh, are so rewatchable. I think this one and his other performance with uh, with uh, There Will Be Blood will go down in history as some of the greatest performances. Uh, should he win the Oscar? Of course he should win the Oscar, but I think there's some other performances and some other actors that haven't won yet. Well, and I think its own country. Oh, okay. I think uh, Daniel Day-Lewis would probably say he would, he would probably be humble about winning, but he'd probably say... Come on, just give it to Gary Oldman. The guy's never won an Oscar. Yeah, yeah, Gary Oldman did an incredible. Yeah. It's it's surrounded by Belgium, France, and Germany. Wow, that's a good way to end this review. Well, I don't want to review end it, Chad. I just want okay. to keep going. No, we can't. We have. Why to. is this movie important? Why do you love it? Uh, I love it because it celebrates uh, the art of cinema. It does, and it actually tries to tell you a story without preaching to you, without trying to you know uh, convince you of some sort of idea or anything, but just give you the interesting characters, and you can you can judge them accordingly, and you can think about them the way you want to think about them without being pushed to any other agenda or idea, and that's what cinema should do. Right. It should entertain us. Uh, not only educate us sometimes, but entertain us, enlighten us, and move us in a certain way, and I think this movie does it.
perfectly. And I think it says interesting things too about compromise and love and relationships and uh, power dynamics and but it's just it's it's within a framework of a story. I agree with you. It doesn't feel like it's uh, you know it's trying to force anything upon you. It's just you're you're uh, experiencing this this tale. Yes, and thank you. Uh, for for that, I really do appreciate it. Um, I appreciate you, Chad, and all these great reviews you've been yeah. doing over the years, Chad. Movie <laughs> and Man, I'm glad, Chad, has I'm been glad, amazing. I'm glad to do so many reviews with you, not only on my channel but on the We Live Film channel. Yes, indeed, and of course, in our personal lives, in the real world, we'll continue to see movies. We'll continue to talk about movies, and maybe once in a while, maybe if it's something really important, we can maybe put out a video. Whether it's on my channel or on We Live Film, put on or, a video or, or, talk or about on my or on my channel or on your channel. What yeah, you know? I would love to mix it up a little yeah. bit. Or on the Labafa channel. On the Labafa channel. Long Beach Acting and yeah, Film. Yeah, that's what I love to do. Association. So Labaffa. yeah, this is my last uh, consistent review for 2017 <laughs> no. with you. No, Chad. Even though I have a couple more movies to see before I really stop doing movie reviews on my channel, but of course I'd love to surprise my audience and and give them a movie review from a movie that maybe we're both excited about, like whatever's coming out this year or next year or the year after that, or maybe something we see together that's a classic film or something like that. We need like to that. see what Chad thinks of Den of Thieves. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of The Commuter? <laughs> yeah, everybody's dying for that. Indeed. Though I'm very excited to see The Maze Runner. I won't be doing a review for The Maze Runner, The Death Cure, but I definitely will uh, maybe share my opinion on Twitter or on Facebook. So in, anyways, I love the film. I think it's one of the best, the, sorry. I love the Phantom Thread menace. I love the Phantom Thread. <laughs> he called it the fan Phantom Thread. I think it is one of the best films, like in my top 10 of the year. Yeah, I feel just the same way. a great film that showcases many talents from everybody involved. And uh, and and do you agree or do you disagree, Derek? I agree. Oh, and I, you agree. And I, I would love uh, <laughs> people to uh, unlike unlike our feelings of, of Justice and Wonder Woman. I don't disagree with there. I agree with you on this one, Chad. And I, and I really hope uh, lots of folks uh, yes. go out and see this film. I feel like uh, there's there's not a lot of buzz around this film. Uh, you didn't like Justice League and Wonder Woman? Are you an idiot? <laughs> They're the best. <laughs> um, because you know it, it's a it's a movie about a dressmaker and yes. and and yes. a relationship and and it's a it's a snapshot in what's going on. So it's uh you know it's not some big uh, whatever. But um, it's okay but it's because those movies are fun too. Derek. Yeah, it is. Don't no, be a snob. Don't be a movie snob. That's what I'm okay? saying. That's what Don't mean. be a movie snob. These movies great. are good, and also movies like Wonder Woman can be good too. Yes, Chad. <laughs> All right. Chad, why don't you just get uh, out? In the com I will leave. Get it? Goodbye. That's movie See you later. Goodbye. Get out. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> no. Uh in the comment box below, let us know what you thought of Phantom Thread, any other movies that you're excited about from 2017, any opinion that you have. All right, what do you feel about the current situation in the world? <laughs> Just kidding. Goodness. <laughs> that was it's a going joke. Down a rabbit hole. That was a joke. That was a joke. <laughs> don't I, don't, do that. I don't care about that. <laughs> so, anyways, um, let us know what you thought about Phantom Thread, and we appreciate your time watching this review with us. And hopefully, we'll see you in the future. Movie Man Chatty out. Derek too. Bye. <laughs>